Hey there, saints. God bless you. Welcome back to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. My name is Brother Brian, and today is Monday. It is actually a new federal holiday here in the United States called Juneteenth. Today is Monday, June 20th, 2022. <laughs> Thankfully, my job on honors the holiday and I get an extra day off. So praise the Lord for that. Once again, if you um, if you haven't seen any of the videos I put out this weekend and you happen to be a father or your dad is still alive, your granddad, whomever, happy Father's Day, not only to you, but to those in your family dear to you. I just wanted to make sure to know that we as God's people, we celebrate. Not worried about the whole worldly viewpoint and what people say, don't, don't celebrate this and this and this. There's nothing wrong with celebrating dads and fathers and so forth. <laughs> so that is a good thing. And I hope you have enjoyed your weekend. Amen. All right. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a prophetic word from Manuel Johnson. This word, he said, is dated June 14th. So it's just six days ago that he received this word. So I have uh, actually watched two videos today. I've been catching up on some videos and um, he actually um, spoke this word twice. And so I was able to hear it and get the, the details of it down and transcribed for you. That way I can relate to you what God is speaking to it, just in case you missed it. Amen. All right. Well, by the way, if any of you are in the Virginia area, the South Virginia area, it's a city called Richmond, Manuel Johnson will actually be at a church. You can go to uh, www.megapraiseministries.com, go to the events tab, and you can see that Manuel Johnson is coming to Virginia. So if you're in North Carolina, <coughs> if you're in Virginia, if you're in West Virginia or whatnot, and you just have the freedom to where you can go, he will be preaching at a church on Saturday, June 25th um, at 5 p.m. There is the registration fee, though. It is a special event. It looks like it's the 40th anniversary for the specific ministry there. And from my understanding, it is his first time there to that church. So that will be exciting. Amen. Uh, and I believe that um, at another nearby uh, church, or it's the same ministry, it's just a different location, on Sunday the 26th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, he will be having a service there. So that will be exciting. Hopefully, Manuel Johnson will have some footage to upload onto his YouTube page uh, about what goes on there. Amen. All right. Well, I'm going to read you this word. It is not super long. And that's it. And I hope you are going to enjoy your day, whether you watch it now or later on in the week. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Amen. <clears throat> all right father we thank you thank you oh lord for your goodness for your grace for your gracious attitude compassion mercy your blessings father for your love for your love that dissolves all that we have been through lord if we will allow you help us father to walk in your love help us to walk by your spirit and to produce your fruit, Lord. Help us to decrease so that you in us may increase. And may this word, may the anointing upon your servant, Manuel Johnson, and the anointing upon the word itself, and the anointing you've placed upon my life, come together, Father, and flow freely unto those who are listening and who are watching. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. All right, these are the words that Prophet Manuel Johnson heard on June 14th, 2022. My children, you shall see the greatest outpouring of my spirit. You will refer to the days of the early days of outpourings of my spirit and those days of old. Oh, thank you. But the coming out pouring will not even compare even though you will try to connect it it will not even compare 
Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. This shaking is greater, and my movement, which I have called and ordained, will not cease in a month or cease in a year. Wow. My children, I am raising up new ministries and new churches that are called by my name. I am the Lord, and I am giving my boldness to my servants who will not relent. That means not give up. But they will stand on my righteous words. Oof, let me just pause right there. Let me read that straight through, that last sentence, and then I'm going to expound on it just a bit. All right, just change the lighting there a little bit. All right, so the Lord, what we just read is the Lord saying this. He says, I am the Lord, and I am giving my boldness to my servants who will not relent, but will stand on my righteous words. Okay, why do I want to stop and touch on that? Well, because we have to realize the Lord, many times when he uses people to speak forth, doesn't you don't have to be a prophet, you don't have to be prophetic, the Lord may just be speaking to you and through you, or he may be speaking something to you that he wants you to communicate. And when we yield to the Lord, and we speak his words, there will be times when the Lord comes forth with a boldness because the Holy Spirit is not a child. The Holy Spirit is a person full of the power of God for the Holy Spirit is God's spirit. And the Holy Spirit will speak through human vessels such as myself and many others who are much more seasoned. I always say it like that because it is never wrong to be in a place of humility. It is, it is always right. And I honor all those who know more, who have walked farther, longer with God. And if you, if you have the same attitude, you and I will go far in the Lord. Amen? And so, no room for pride. No room for boasting. Only about Jesus Christ. Now the Lord says here, my boldness he will give to his servants, to those who will not give up. Well, I know that when I hear that, I think of myself because I'm applying the word to myself. I'm taking it personally. I'm hearing what God is saying, and I have to compare myself, not to any other, but to the word that God is saying. Because I want to be lined up with God's word. All right, <clears throat> we measure ourselves by God's word, not by other people. And the Lord says, He's going to give His boldness to His servants who won't give up, and those who will stand on His righteous words. From time to time, there will be people that <coughs> I'm sure this has happened with you. It happens with me from time to time. People will be mad at me because of how I speak. Now, yes, my demeanor and my way of speaking. Many times it's very soft and, and calm, and that is because the peace of the Lord upon my life. I have the peace of Christ within me, and I, I aim to speak from the place of rest in God. No anxiety, no fear. Doesn't make me perfect. No, this is all by the grace of God. Okay, but I have to do my part to remain in that. And so I speak forth from this place, but there will be times where I will speak boldly. And people who are in the flesh or carnal, they will mistake it for arrogance. So this will happen with you as well, unfortunately. Just learn to discern and to recognize it. And also this, if anyone ever accuses you or makes you sound like, oh, you think you're so high, you know, high up there, etc. Always reflect, is what I always do. I always reflect on what they're saying and check your heart. Did you lift yourself up? Did you speak down to them? Or are you just, are you speaking with boldness, with truth, God's truth, not your own truth. God's truth is the only truth. Okay. 
And if you do check with yourself every time, that's good because that shows the Lord you fear him and you're humbling yourself before him. You want to make sure that you didn't speak in error, that you didn't have the wrong heart attitude or mind attitude. Because there will be times when no matter what you do, what you say, how you say it, in your obedience to God and speaking his words, there will still be people who will not take it the right way. And there's nothing we as servants of God can do. We just have to remember to ensure that we are walking in love. And sometimes they will say you're not walking in love because you're speaking the truth and they just don't want to hear the truth. Well, in those cases, we must keep our peace and just keep it moving because we answer to him individually, not to the people. Amen? <clears throat> but the Lord is so wonderful and he's telling us here that he's giving boldness to his servants who he knows will not give up. I personally know I will not give up no matter what. And to those who are going to stand on his righteous words. This is why instead of having my own opinion about things, and God doesn't mind if you have your opinion, if you're trying to figure something out, oh, I think this, you know, this is what <coughs> may be happening, etc. That's okay. But if we're having an opinion about something, and that opinion is clearly out of the character of God, then we are wrong. We have to learn to accept it. And we have to let God change us. He accepts us as we are, but he expects us to allow him to transform us from within. That should go without saying, but I speak it because sometimes we just need to hear it. Amen? And so um, that is just something that stood out to me that I wanted to share with you. Uh, the Holy Spirit is always teaching. That's one of the um, graces upon my life. So praise the Lord. <clears throat> All right. Let's continue with the word. We're about halfway through already. So after the Lord spoke this, he says, My children... You will know that my hand is upon this earth, my footstool for good and not for evil. But I, the Lord, will judge those who continue to walk in evil ways, to try to change the times and seasons. You see, those who try to change the times and seasons... The Bible tells us in the book of Daniel that it's the spirit of Antichrist. Amen? The sons of the evil one. See, they are, the Lord is uh, specifying the ones who try to change times and seasons. The sons of the evil one, that is the devil. Many of my children have been asking for change. When is change coming? When is it going to come? And then God answered Man, um, Manuel when he was hearing this. And God said, change is coming, my saints. Change is already happening, my children. The change you will witness is the changing of the guard in my mountains, says the Lord. Places you thought it was impossible will be possible in me, says the Lord. I will visit many of my children in dreams and in visions, in the day and the night, and you will not be the same. Oh, my spirit will flow through many with new ideas, concepts, and inventions from heaven. I will do this thing, says the Lord. I am dealing with someone you will never expect in what you call the White House. Whoa. They will confess and tell it all for fear of me, says the Lord. Soon after that, more confessions will come and you will also see 
resignations. Wow. I, the Lord, will move upon your nation in the military at the time, at the right hour. You will see, as I spoke before, a changing of the guard. But this will not be by your might, nor your power. <clears throat> For I, the Lord, will gain honor in your nation, called the United States of America, and the nations around the world. My word will not return void, nor will I void my covenant. Wow. Okay, that is the end of the word. Now listen how the Lord ended that word. He will not void his covenant. I believe that he's speaking of his covenant with America. Now if you know anything about the power of covenant, God will not break his covenant. He is faithful. So that means it is not the end of America, but it is the rebirth of America. Regardless of all the people and their rapture theories, and all those people who came on my channel before and said the rapture is last month, here we are. Or the rapture was last year, here we are. <laughs> there is so much more in God's word that has not come to pass. And sometimes people get in their own mind, in their own understanding, and I was there. So yes, I can speak from this because I was there. I have authority to speak on this subject. I was guilty of that. And the Lord corrected me. And I'm so grateful that he gave me the grace to accept his correction and to allow him to steer me the right way. And so now I choose to be in alignment with God. It is not a time of gloomy days it is a time of glory days. The harvest that Jesus deserves has not come in. Jesus will come back for a church, a bride without wrinkle, spot, and blemish. Look around. The church as a whole, and I'm not saying everybody, there's always a remnant, but in general, where is the power? Where are the miracles? Where is the raising of the dead? Where is the supernatural manifestation? Where is the purity? God cannot send Jesus to rapture us when we are not ready according to his word. That in itself should tell people it's not the rapture time. We have not been purified. We have not made ourselves clean. We have not yet walked in the power that Jesus promised. 14, uh, the 14th chapter, 12th verse of John, John 14, 12. Jesus said, you will do the same works that I have done and greater works will you do. Have we seen that in the church? No. So if the Lord Jesus rap were to rapture us now, how will that scripture be fulfilled? And for those who may say, oh, well, he can still fulfill it with those he left behind. Well, if he's taking the righteous, why would he allow those who are left behind, who were not ready to perform these greatest miracles? That makes no sense. <laughs> and therefore, we need to just understand and yield to God's understanding and the Holy Spirit and what he's saying through those who he are hearing from him, the seasoned prophets, that I'm learning from and now I'm sharing with you also what God has shared with me. Amen. So let's roll up that rapture rod and start to occupy until he comes. Regardless if he comes in our generation or in 100 years or 150, 200 or even more. Does it really matter if you're ready? Meaning, if you're ready, does it really matter? I'm re rephrasing that because I can see the enemy make someone think that I'm saying it the wrong way. No. If we are ready in Christ at all times, does it really matter if you go in the rapture or not? Now, it'd be pretty cool to experience it. Absolutely. But if you don't, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter when it happens because what matters is you're right with God and no matter if uh, how you go, 
you're going to be with God in heaven. Right standing with God is more important. Amen? So let's do what we got to do. Dig in our heels, roll up your sleeves, get to work. Jesus did say, occupy until I come. We should be doing that. Not crying out for a rescue, rescue mission. It'll be a time of celebration. Not a rescue mission. Because his people are warriors. Not warriors. Amen? Praise the Lord. Whoa. God is so good. When he disciplines and corrects, he does so in love. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this word. This was powerful from God. Definitely, I hope that you are following Manuel Johnson on Mega Praise Ministries on his YouTube channel, as well as his website. Get your Glory Day hats there. I don't mind doing some free advertising because it's a product from God. And it has been a blessing not only in my life, but already in my sister's life and many others as well. So praise the Lord. Definitely support, follow those that I talk about here on this channel as the Holy Spirit leads you, as well as sow into their ministries and support the work of the Lord. That's it for now. God bless you. I do have a free Telegram channel down below in the description. You can sign up. I share worship songs there. I share clips. I share scripture. I share uh, things that I cannot always share on this platform, YouTube. And so it would be great to see you there. Um, we are getting close to 800 subscribers there. And it is a wonderful place where we speak a life, where we align with what God is saying. We don't exalt and we do not glorify the devil. I will not allow that because it is a channel that God has placed on my heart to manage and I am responsible to the Father. And I'm gonna use it to glorify the Lord. You're welcome there. Uh, love to hear your thoughts and whatnot, but they must be in line with the Lord. We praise the Lord. We thank the Lord. We glorify Him. We share testimonies. We appreciate one another. We help one another. But we must come together and decide to do things God's way. Amen. So that is that. I hope to see you there. Don't forget to, uh, to subscribe also to this channel, YouTube. Amen. So I will see you in the next video. God bless.